Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we'll be looking at motion transformation systems for this time. Um, if we look at what we did last time, we saw that a motion transmission system, the uh, motion is transmitted throughout the system. And it's the same type of motion that goes from one um, item to the next or one component to the next. So in here we have, for example, in the gear assembly, we had a rotation which caused another rotation. But today we're looking at transformation. So in the option, in the possibility that the components will rotate and then the other component will translate and vice versa. So we'll see that you have some reversible and some non-reversible. If we look at the first system, um, it would be the screw gear system where you have uh, one part will rotate and the bolt, the screw will rotate and the bolt may go back and forth. Okay. Um, then I'll show you what uh, an example on the computer right over here. Yes. So as the screw rotates, the bolt on top is translating. And this really works for um, the jack of a car, like here. Everybody see that? You see, as we rotate, the, this part here is the screw and on the inside on the inside there is a, bo uh, a bolt that will go left and right to cause this part to go up watch as she rotates the screw so that's the driver here and the driven is the bolt the bolt or nut if you like and then this is to uh, be able to elevate a car so the car needs to be very well supported, which is why this cannot be reversible. Um, I cannot push down to cause a rotation. It can only go one way, a rotation that causes a translation. So we have other examples. We have the glue stick, same idea. Once you rotate the glue stick, um, you cannot push on the top of the glue stick to cause a rotation. It really is just one way. The next is a cam follower. One of my personal favorites. Um, this one here, we have a um, strangely shaped cam. The bottom here is the cam. And um, depending on the shape, the uh, follower on top will follow the, the, uh, the cam. Um, it is not reversible, and you'll see why in the video. An example for that is a needle on a sewing machine. Okay, So let me show you uh, an example on the video right here. So there's an example of a um, cam follower. Watch closely as we spin the bottom. On the top, you have followers that will go up and down, causing a little toy to move along. <laughs> so just pay attention how you have rotation at the bottom, and on the top, you have translation. Here's another example. We're rotating, and these sticks just go up and down, up and down. This is a transformation of motion because you are rotating and then trans and there's a translation as a consequence. It's changed. So as you as you see here, I cannot um, the follower like it cannot be the follower that make that does the main movement. You cannot have the follower driving the the cam. It is not possible. It really is only moving because of the, of the cam moving. Okay, so that's the stick on the top cannot cause a rotation. Hence the name follower. It only, only thing it can do is follow. So if you look here again, we have with the media to watch this. You see? Whoop. The cam will move up and it will do a rotation. And it causes the follower to go up and down, a translation. And is not reversible. Next in the list is the connecting rod and crank. A bit like you find um, on a train um, or in the car engine. So as um, the crank moves in a rotational motion, the uh, connecting rods will go back and forth as such. Okay. 
Is it reversible? Yes, you could go uh, back and forth, which will cause a rotation. And I took a short video on that uh, from school. Watch how we spin. Nope. There you go. Watch it again. Let me spin it. Cause a translation. And we have it here as well. Watch here has we turn. This will turn. The crank turns. And it causes the connecting rod to go up and down. You find that inside the cylinders of an engine. Okay. Next is the rack and pinion. The rack and pinion, another one that, again, you have a translation, so the rack over here on top is called a rack, will go right and left, whereas the pinion, as a result, will turn also. Is it reversible? Yes, and you'll see in the video why. You can uh, translate it, and the, and the pinion will move, and you can do the opposite. You can turn the pinion, and the rack will move as well. You have that in steering wheel systems of a car. Let's take a look. Right over here. So I'm spinning the pinion and the rack moves up and down. There you go. And I could also move the um, rack up and down and this was, will cause a rotation. Like in here. Oh, right here. There you go. So the rack goes to the right. And the pinion turns. Yeah, and I believe this was the last one for today. That's it. See you all soon for the next one on speed change.